I think that uh, for women that are starting their business, it's very important to stop being perfectionist. But with your startup, you are the one who is making all the decisions and changes, at least in the beginning. My first startup was language school. I think that I was really privileged that time because I was taking my MBA course. And uh, I think that it, not in every journey of startup founder you have those mentors and coaches who, who for two years can uh, hand in hand walk with you for all the risks and everything you have. But uh, after six months we became being break even. So that was a point when I realized, yeah, we need to move forward, we need to make it happen, I need to give 100%. That year was like a lifetime for me, so it sounds now very, very short and simple, but actually that business was growing pretty fast and after one year I sold it. So it was kind of a short cycle with exit and very, very good timing. I think the biggest barrier for uh, women is uh, funding. From the statistics that we can see from one pound, only one penny is going to uh, female founders and it's not acceptable at all. And it's coming because of gender investment gap. More investors are men, they understand products differently and somehow uh, there are stereotypes that women prefer family to career. It's not that everyone should go that way and be career driven and oriented, but it needs to be a choice. And in case if it's your choice, everyone around should support and society should allow it being so. Being an entrepreneur means 99 out of 100 are saying you, you're crazy. It will never work. What is this idea about? Go back to your secure job. Don't do it again. And imagine like how Mentally, it's difficult to be rejected so many times. We need to be prepared that every failure brings us closer and closer to success. It means that we need just a little bit more experiments, a little bit more testing and becoming a little bit more closer to those who have been really successful because they have been rejected and they have failed so many times. The most important part is to believe in yourself to believe that you can achieve things. Never be afraid to ask for advice, to ask for feedback. This is very important to identify what is the source and what is the way for a person to improve and think that this is a long process probably for the whole life.